Today, we're focusing on chapters 5 and 6 of Micah, which in doing so bisects two of the themes of the book. Chapters 4 and 5 of Micah are promises of restoration for Judah, and chapters 6 and 7 are chapters of judgment against the people. Let's first focus on prophecies of deliverance in chapter 5, the promise of a coming deliverer. Verse 2 tells us, But you, O Bethlehem Ephrathath, who are too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is from of old, from ancient of days. Even though Israel and Judah have yet to receive judgment, there's still a promise of a deliverer who shall come out of Bethlehem, one who will shepherd God's people. And as it says in verse 5, and he shall be their peace. What amazes me is that through all of the turmoil and wickedness of Israel, God is still reminding them that he would keep his promise. As we turn over to chapter 6, we see that the wickedness of Israel is great. They'd offer mixed sacrifices to both false gods and the one true God. They worship on high places and in groves. They failed to understand that presenting offerings and sacrifices for the sake of religious tradition wasn't what God wanted, but instead he wanted a sincere desire to love and serve him alone. Verses 7 and 8 tell us, Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams? with ten thousands of rivers of oil. Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? He has told you, O oh man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? But to do justice, and to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. God's desire isn't for us to maintain religious affiliations or practices for the sake of playing a part. His desire is that our hearts are turned towards him and fully surrendered. Let me close with this question. Are you just going through the motions of religion without truly turning your life over to God? You see, God isn't interested in your acting ability. He's interested in your humility to trust him for salvation and to walk with him through life.